Live from the 15 Minutes of Fame Studios, 39th and Broadway, in the heart of Bayonne, New Jersey, because we couldn't afford a spot in Manhattan. Welcome to the Shut Up and Talk Show. Give it up for your host, me, mother Let's go. Yeah. Now nah, I've, I've I was at plenty of those yeah, uh, events so. where it's mad. and and I'm a, I'm a shift, but I'm gonna go back. Um, at some point, like you became like Smack's gunner, like so. I, I don't, I, I'm not going to say it was like he kicked Tay Rock to the side and made you the gunner, but you became one of the gunners. Am I wrong? Right? Like you was a go-to guy for Smack. And they wanted to... And like he introduced Tay Rock, he would introduce you that way, like you was yeah. one of the gunners. They wanted to make it like that. <clears throat> they wanted to make it like, you know... You that, was a gunner. I was his gunner. How did you feel about that? Like, did it? It worked for a minute. Mm -hmm. Like, I was feeling it because me and Smack always had a great relationship. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't doing business with Smack, so it was like all... people tell me, like, there's three people over there: Smack, Beasley, and Chico. Yeah. Beasley doesn't book everybody. Yeah. Chico doesn't book everybody. Yeah. Smack doesn't barely books most people, right? So yeah. I have I've never done any business with Smack mm -hmm. ever. But I talked to Smack. We had great conversations. We, uh, BET was shit, some of the funnest shit I've ever did. Um, all that, man. So you and, know. And 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 again, did it feel good to say like, yo, I'm I'm like I'm one of his gunners? Because it's not a lot, though, right? It's not a it's lot a, of people it, that it, it, he kind of looked at like it's that. Somebody that's come, I ain't even. I still don't even know who mad at me, who don't like me, who mad because of this, or I'm just being thrown into this shit. Mm -hmm. My PG was, we on the road, and and once I agreed to do this, Norbs had already gave me the rundown. You do two PGs, you're gonna do two PGs if you do. Good, those two PGs, maybe you could move ahead, get on, you know what I'm saying, a bigger stage. This is after Johnny Alcatraz? No, this is before Johnny. Oh, he oh. telling me how to process. Oh, okay, then no. So I'm okay. like, so I'm already like, but he don't know. I'm just coming out there to do this just for the experience. Right, I, don't give I, a I might fuck not ever this. come back. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just coming to New York. My niggas want to do this. Oh, my, but I ain't coming back, bro. Trust me. Hmm. Um. It's two battle process. If you do good in that battle, if you do good enough, we might have to give, try to get you a name. And then if you do good against that name, then we'll start getting you paid. If you do good then, then you do big stages. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, <laughs> all right, all right, cool. We on our way there. When we get to Pennsylvania, I stop. We stop because the driver's tired. Mm -hmm. I don't have a second and a third round. Oh, the battle is tomorrow. Oh, fuck. So I'm like, man, I got to get some shit together. I gotta, da, 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 da. So I start getting some shit together. I just I just walk around in circles. That's how I put my battles together. So I'm, we in Pennsylvania. Everybody in the van sleep. My brother like, man, you about to be the man at this shit. Trust me, nigga. Watch, nigga. They about to be like, nigga. This. Will. If ain't nobody ever believed in me, my brother Mel has always believed, like, nigga, you the coldest nigga in the world to me. Starts at Can't home. Nobody tell me that. And it'll never not feel good when he say that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? So he like, nigga, you about to watch whatever they go. What, what, what they be doing? And I'm like, this summer, man. It's, watch, you about to be on them. You about to be that. So I was like, well, the Norbs nigga said, I got to do two PGs. Then... We do. He was like, nigga, you about to do this PG, then you about to do whatever big shit they got popping, they about to pay you, nigga. I was like, yeah, but Norv said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still, like, nigga, Norv I don't give a said, fuck what this Norv's, is what the press is. I don't give a fuck what Norv said, nigga. You about to do this PG, and them niggas ain't gonna know what to do with you, nigga. Yeah, but Norv <laughs> said, I gotta do Uncle Rod did that PG. I did BET right after that, and I did Summer Madness Three right after that. And we was stop. 
We was the most Stop. talked about. Stop. Just saying. Stop. You battle Johnny Alcatraz. Mm -hmm. You battle Johnny Alcatraz. Now you just had a real battle. Pause. Don't be mad at me when I say this. No disrespect to Mike Murderers. Right. And shit like that. Right. But it's URL. Yeah. URL is the fucking biggest thing. This is smoking. what Byron is telling me. So This is what Mac, Mac was telling me the whole... Hey, Will, look, Will, you gotta... You have to smoke this nigga, because when you do, <laughs> they, but, they they was all telling me something that I didn't believe was about to happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm such a realist, it hurt me sometimes, because I be, because I go from being a realist to, well, that's just not believing in yourself, Will. That's not being a realist. That's just having lack of, of right. confidence in something more. But I just be like, I don't see all that happening. You know what I'm saying? But you couldn't tell Mac. You couldn't tell Cuddy. You couldn't tell Mel. You couldn't tell one. Bro, you about to go up here and change shit. I promise, Will. Uh, I, I'm, I know I'm going to do good. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, bro, we going to bring you back. You all right, bro. Huh, fist bump. You need a little fist bump, man. I thought they'd do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. So they knew what was about to happen. Now you, you're in Black Star. Yeah. Iconic. Do you know I, that? Kind of, yeah, I, I'm, I'm know being that. told all of this. Okay. Hey, Will, you know this where Lux and what's in the... Damn, for real? I'm being told this while I'm... Man, what? Now... I met Pop. Me. Hey, this Pop right here. Hey, yo. I, well, I'll let you go because... No, go. The go. Pop conversation came after the jump. He said, man, that's some of the greatest shit. I, he said, man, I'm Pop. I own this motherfucker, man. I had all type of motherfuckers come through mm -hmm. here, man. You, If you know Pop and you watching this, you can ask him about ill. That nigga said, man, I ain't seen much shit like that in my... Man, this one of the greatest shits I ever saw in my life, my nigga. He was like, hey, you, you one of them ones. I was like, God damn, like... Cause I saw I I, I saw Lux and Miles. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Cause that was something iconic. Just like you seen Reed with the Rambo shit. I saw Lux and Miles. I saw what Lux did to Miles, but and a lot of people don't know about that battle. I, I hate that I say what Lux did to Miles. That's disrespecting my I apologize for that. It's not what Lux I saw Lux and Miles. I saw Lux versus Miles. But I didn't know it was there. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was standing in that building. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm I'm learning that. And I think he said it. He brought Pop on stage. He said it during the battle. Like this, I kind of, you know, Lux and I'm like, you could see me look around like, this is the damn, book. this where it was at. That's that book I was well, we said got, I was going to buy right there. It's still on the show. We got there, niggas, you know what I'm saying? It was like, that's Sylvia's down there. That's, you know, hey, man, this is a legendary block, man. This 125th, man. This this 125th and Lennox, man. This A lot of shit went down here with, like, niggas telling me. I'm like, okay, we painted Mike Murderer stickers all over. You go down there, it's Mike hitting Mike Murderer stickers all through there. Light poles and alleys all the time. We was spamming that motherfucker, but... Man, that was a beautiful day, Rob. So now you you go crazy. Right. The crowd goes crazy. You got Mickey Fax in the building, Shug's right. in the building, uh, jazz rappers in the building, yeah. early, you know, early jazz, which used to be at every fucking event. Right. Uh, Our head was... There's other people in the building, man. It's a conference. <laughs> no, I just was like, that's not jazz. And, and you're killing it. How How is that that you're... And like I was asking you because I said, this is URL. This is the fucking epitome is it the word epitome? A battle rap. Yes. Yes. And you are a debut and you're going crazy. I think what worked for me was I was such a Pontiac nigga. Mm -hmm. I didn't give a fuck about it. Okay. Nothing. I was trying to figure out I what was your... I wasn't trying to do good for okay. Smack. Okay. I wasn't... I was literally like, man, we coming out here for a trip. I got all my niggas with me. I wish a nigga tried something because we about 30 deep in this bitch. And, you know, I'm about to rap. They don't fuck with my shit. I already knew going into it not to look forward to nothing. Mm -hmm. I wasn't looking forward to another battle. I'm a rapper. I can go do shows. I, I, I don't care to be here anymore. Damn, this Smack. What up, Smack? Damn, I met Smack. I met Mook. I don't... I did what I came to do. I went to Disneyland and met Goofy for, and I, Mickey Mouse and man, Donald I Duck. Did and I, I did what I came to do. I saw New York, met some real niggas, smoked some of their weed. 
You know what I'm saying? Met some of they females. Ate they food. Now I'm about to do this little rap shit. They don't like me. They don't like I done been booed. I done been, I, I've already been hip-hop trained since I've been 14 years old. Mm -hmm. I've been in, rapping mm -hmm. in front of crowds. Mm -hmm. and So I did this before. This is nothing. So I'm about to wrap this shit up. Let do, I know he going to go crazy, beat me and all that shit. I don't give a fuck. Because you've seen his work. I so saw the name. Yeah. I, I can't do all that shit. Because I thought it was like a carbon copy. Like you had to move a certain way and... Cause when the gun jam and when the, the gun so big that it, I'm like, I gotta do all this. I can't. I don't know how to do that shit. So I, I knew I was about to lose. So I just came to have fun and do my thing. Like I knew I was gonna be dope. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't think I was gonna be so dope to where smack walking off stage and they and me wanna do BET, you wanna go to B Well that's where I'm going now.